All right, so I'm trying to see some. If you guys like this Kid Boot art, hit that thumbs up. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. If you want to support the video, either one's fine. Yeah, I want to see because I the only thing I've seen from people reaction wise since this got tweeted a few minutes ago is oh my god, that's terrible art. <laughs> so I just like it's kind of I, I think it's kind of lazy, I guess. Um, now he just like zooms in and then he doesn't, you know, he zooms out like right here and then he's gonna zoom in again. I think it's kind of lazy. I don't really care much about the actual art itself. I guess the animations are kind of whatever. And you notice, you notice when they started tricking up ultras more often, the animations on art has not been as great. Like there's less movement. Like this hardly like even looks like Buchigiri art anymore, like with the movement and all that stuff. They've been they've been putting them out on a monthly basis, and I guess that's a trade-off, right? Uh they're reusing assets and some of the attacks, etc. I'm, I'm neither here nor there, whatever. Kid Boo is coming out this week. We thought a Kid Boo was coming. He was teased last night. They already turned around and announced it uh, completely. They actually kind of an interesting deal for them to just drop the character like this. They don't really do this. Anyway, they said, hey, new character info. The brand new Ultra Kid Boo is coming. The character unique's abilities will be revealed on 426 UTC. So they are probably going to have a little video, <clears throat> video and stuff. They... They, they maybe announced tonight or maybe they'll if I mean there's a possibility I guess they just drop his info card on social media and don't do a video um, So there's that I think that it's the thing about videos is that if they do one for a campaign unless it's like an anniversary It's kind of hard for them to do multiple because you know They have to sit down get it all scripted you gotta blah, 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 get all the recording blah 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 you get the point like it's a lot of work I guess and uh, maybe they just don't have time. So, so, what are your thoughts about Kid Buu coming out as the Ultra? I had been saying that we were going to get an Ultra for one. People were like, no, we aren't going to get one. If you need any more proof, <clears throat> we are in an Ultra on a monthly basis territory. It has been that way since the end of last year. There was a little bit of a snafu like last month because of Battle Hour. And there will probably be a little bit of a snafu towards the end of next month because Anniversary. Part one will be happening around this time next month. So yeah, but for the most part, ultras are now monthly characters. What are your thoughts on that? <clears throat> uh, my thoughts are, boy, oh boy, we really need the multi ultra uh, character banners to come out sooner than later, where they're putting more than one on a banner because they just they're terrible. Uh, all right, so what's going on with Kid Boo? Not this guy specifically. We pulled him up for the tags. We're looking at regen, powerful opponent, and the Boo Saga tags being the biggest risers of the release of the next upcoming Majin Buu. <clears throat> so in terms of regen, if you pulled for the new uh, cell that came out recently, you're probably going to be sitting really, really well off. There are still a few other characters in here that can be used uh, pretty decently. And also, if you got a good roll, I guess, on the Fat Boo's equip, you can use him too and go from there. Also, for the record, Fat Boo kind of needs to be, if I recall correctly, alongside Majin Buu Saga, at least one Majin Buu Saga ally for his equip. So there's that. They clearly made that equip with Kid Buu in mind as you're supposed to be using them as part of a tandem. So... I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, Kid Buu offers something in his kit to allow for more Majin Buu Saga characters specifically to get either buffs or perform better to some degree. Also, because that's very on brand for this celebration. If we look at Majin Buu Saga characters and stuff, that's kind of been what they've been doing. You know, this guy offers what Majin Buu Saga exclusive, well, event exclusive and Majin Buu Saga, but nearly Majin Buu Saga exclusive stuff here. Uh, and there's a lot of characters and popping up and stuff like that. So wouldn't be surprised if that's kind of what happens. Now, in terms of powerful opponent, this may actually be the biggest riser because the top end talent for this team is just insane with Hit and Rosé. <laughs> like two top five characters. It's crazy. So just off the top, I mean, if he comes out and he's like a yellow character, that's going to be insane. He, you know what I think? I think he might mess around and be another green ultra. Well, because Goku and Vegeta are blue, right? Maybe he'll maybe he'll be red. Watch him be red, because Goku and Vegeta are blue, right? It's either it's either green or red because Goku and Vegeta are blue, I think, and I think that they'll match the color like that. So I mean, but hey, I wouldn't be opposed to if it's something else. Like I said, like yellow, I guess, for complete synergy. Red, green, yellow, looking really nice. Uh, they could also do purple. Purple is okay. Oh hey, we actually have another. I just totally overlooked Broly. Wow, this team's gonna have five ultras. Wow. Uh, 
four sorry omega anyway moving on so yeah that being said i think this team is a team that you definitely wouldn't want to sleep on too much though going forward but ultimately we're going to conclude here i want to know like i said thumbs up thumbs down do you want to see or do you like this art for kid boo let me know in the comments down below also or by the rating also in terms of boo are you going to be summoning for him here's the deal i mentioned the anniversary this is like this is like the time where you stop summoning. And if if we know anything about this game though, for the last few years, basically every year for the anniversary, they typically hit a lull. After this celebration, and but before the anniversary, there's probably gonna be a two to three week lull where there's not really much going on, right? They may try to drop something, but a lot of times they don't even drop an LF right there because what would wind up happening is if they drop an LF at their normal schedule mid-month around like the 14th, they're gonna mess around and turn around and drop another LF in two weeks, a week and a half, you know? So they don't typically do that. Um, so I don't, they're, just, they're probably not gonna be anything else. So you might be able to get away with summoning for Kid Buu and then turning around and still saving like a few weeks worth of CC um and then using that towards anniversary but the downside is for anniversary it's going to be another probably month and a half two month long thing that's going to push with multiple parts multiple banners that you may want to summon on who knows also the theme for anniversary is kind of iffy one thing i think that is for sure is that we probably won't get an ultra next month like i talked about it's just going to be kind of weird because of anniversary starting but i do think we will get an ultra for the following month I don't know that it'll be at the end because again, anniversary will have started. Maybe it's mid month. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, eh, it's probably be at the end. Anyways, <clears throat> I do think we'll get an ultra then. And I do think that hot, hot character at the top, off the top is going to be ultra Vegito. I think blue. I think that that is where we're at currently is that it's most likely Vegito blue because you know how they like to do anniversary. It, it, that just, if you have to take a guess, it's going to be that or like MUI Goku or something like that. That's those are, those are just, they're, they're easy easy answers right <laughs> like it's not a it's not a hot hot you know debate or anything like that it's just it's easy answers that's easy to guess so anyways kid boo's in a really weird time slot this time slot traditionally always gets skipped by most players and i want to know what you guys are doing i personally have been free to play adjacent for like all year uh if you haven't noticed i haven't done a lot of new character showcases i because what happens is i'll typically just do like one or two summons and i'll call it a day or maybe one rotation and i'll call it a day and what free to play adjacent is is my wording is that like i'm just literally buying the freaking battle pass and that's like it or they'll have like a, every now and again they'll have like a step up sale where the, you spend like 10 bucks get like 2000 cc i'll do that but i'm not i'm not buying the you know the the fifty dollar packs or any of that anymore i haven't all year um so for me what that means is that i'll probably pull for kid boo a few times but it's a very real chance i probably don't walk away with him but i kind of kind of having been in this position for a while i kind of don't mind uh i i really liked hit i didn't i didn't get him because i didn't push for him I didn't get Rosé. I don't really care, to be honest. <laughs> I, don't, I do not really care. Um, but yeah, I, I'll try for Kid Buu. I was happy to get the Goku and Vegeta, though, to be honest. So I want to know what you guys' plans are as well. Thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one, guys.